One New Jersey school building is damaged so much by Ida, students will not be able to return to classrooms tomorrow on what's supposed to be the first day back to classrooms since the pandemic began. And tonight, it is still unclear when those students will be able to return to the classroom. Hazmat teams inside Crestgill Middle and High Schools on the eve of the first day of school. We have to start all remote and all virtual. There is no other option. Crestgill Public Schools Superintendent Michael Burke gave PIX11 News an inside look into the extensive damage left behind by Ida. These pumps all have to be replaced. They're obviously large. The boilers have to be replaced. The Bergen County School Building, which is home to a thousand students, grades six through twelve, still has water in its auditorium, mud in hallways, and textbooks that are barely usable. It was basically a swimming pool with sewage backing up, dirt, mud. Through the classrooms, through the hallway, and then have enough to trickle down to put this up four to five feet. I'm devastated by this. Um, this was my high school. My daughter now attends here. Um, the destruction is just beyond comprehension. Denise Villani is also the president of the Crestgill Board of Education. She's hoping kids can get back into classrooms by January. Going remote again is, is really hard. Um, unfortunately, that's what we're looking at right now, and we have to figure out a way to deal with it for her. In the meantime, the superintendent says he's applying for state and federal aid to help pay for the millions of dollars worth of damage. And teachers are helping to organize fundraisers for things like desks, chairs, and smart boards. And the superintendent says right now what he is doing is looking into off-campus sites to service classrooms while those repairs are being made. In the meantime, school staff is reaching out to families to make sure they have textbooks and tablets they need for remote learning. Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.